going on? This is Dan from D Reviews here. I uh, just got the Charles Liu version one in the mail today. Uh, my counterpart sent it to me. Pretty excited about it. I didn't open it yet, so I wanted to have my first unveiling so you guys could see it. Um, obviously, it comes in a nice e bag. It's a single strap on one side. Uh, I like the two straps, so I like wearing it as a backpack, but what if? Some people might know uh, the Charles Wu is based on um, the color combination is based on two things based off the Nikes. Uh, I can't remember the specific Nikes, but they have the same color combination using the Tiffany's turquoise color and uh, Charles Wu. I think it's Charles Louis Tiffany is the guy who founded Tiffany's. Um, so I'll go over the jacket here first. This jacket is a pearl weave. Nice and soft. It's definitely thicker than my uh, Rio Koi right off the top. Some good embroidery. And I don't know if you know, but Shoya Roll, uh, I don't know which version they did it at, but um, they, they made their embroidery much better by going around the edge of the logo, adding nice thickness to it. The uh, I know the Compadre and the Americana don't have that. It doesn't look as good, uh, but it looks sharp on there. Uh, the stitching looks really really straight line so far which is good it's a little squiggly in the back right over here it's got your standard fine cut kimono seam tape on the inside that looks sharp the shoya roll patch the tag looks good I've seen this one in white a girl at my gym has it and I don't, I don't like it I think the it's a little, maybe it's a little feminine. I don't mind wearing feminine stuff. I don't care, but it, uh, it doesn't look as good as the black. But black actually looks good, and I was worried because I saw some of the pictures. It looked like the uh, the patches were going to come out more green, and I think they ended up really similar to the the Tiffany's color, which I'm happy about it. Uh, it's also got seam tape, custom seam tape on the side. It says Charles Lou, now and forever, 1837. Let's see if you guys can see that. Boop. Yeah. Not as uh, intricate as something like the Rio Koi. Um, I don't know if the price is is really justified. So you also got the seam tape on the inside of the sleeves as well. Take a look at these pants. I think the price was one eighty nine, which it's pretty pretty plain gi. I mean, Shoyo, I think des design wise, they look much better than a lot of gis, and the fit's really good. Um, I think things like e-bags, you know, add maybe five, ten bucks here and there, and that can be nice. Uh, for 189, when there's there's a lot of other good options out there, I think it's it's a stretch. So I've never had ripstop pants by Shoei Roll. So these are my first time wearing these. I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I've got the Shoei Roll Rebels Against the Mainstream patch. Uh, the embroidery kind of looks a little. The greens look different from the. Uh, from the patch to the, the slits and yeah the patch is like a little bit lighter more of that true Tiffany's color uh, here we got the same old six belt loop system that Shoyo has been using uh, I can't wait to try these on to see how the waist is because Shoyo pants usually have really baggy waists and it sucks uh, like with, with the version ones you had the turquoise crotch uh, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be stretchy material, but it's not. Probably looks like it's going to get full range of motion, though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to shrink them because they're definitely a little long for me. That's pretty typical. And this is actually an A2, and I'm 5'10", and uh, about 195, 200 pounds. Probably more like 200 because I've been eating like crap lately. Yep, it's got good... Uh, Stitching looks pretty normal. I don't see any threads coming undone. I think it's got the same seam tape probably on the inside, which it does. I don't know if you can see. And the same logo on the inside. So there's nothing very unique about this gi, say, you know, like like the Koi, which is the only other show roll I have. I know Brennan's had a bunch, but, but it looks good. I can't wait to wear it. I mean, the jacket looks really sharp. I'm going to try it on. See how it fits. 
It's got this nice little diamond logo hit right here. Oh, Shoei Roll A2s fit me perfectly. I feel like right out of the bag. Sits nice and flush across the front. We got the Shoei Roll patch up here. Okay. Stitching all seems good, and that you know that's one thing too is. You know, I've seen a lot of older Shoei Rolls that I never thought were that great to begin with. And I, th I think lately that their quality control has gone up. I mean, they, I know they had some issues in the past, but with contrast stitching, you can really see stuff stand out with the stitching if it's bad or not all the way through. And this is actually, this is, this is very decent stitching. So happy to say that because so you can see it. Yep. That's pretty much it. It fits perfectly. I'm probably going to have to air dry it, which kind of sucks, but... It's life. It's really well packed. So nothing really else I can say about the gi uh, yet. I can't wait to, to wash and roll in it, obviously, but uh, it should definitely look sharp. I think the black version looks better if you got that one good on you. Uh, I'm interested to try the pants out. So hopefully that answers some prelim preliminary questions that anybody might have. But uh, yeah, that's it. Full review coming soon at gireviews.net.